Hey everybody, I just want to welcome you to my live today. I want to talk to you about the Victory 17 blessing. There's something happening here and uh, I've just seen this pattern happening. I'm like, I've got to bring you into it. I need to tell you about it. Um, you know, you're you're free to step in. If, if, if that's something the Lord is leading you into, that would be wonderful. Uh, but nevertheless, I know something's happening. I just totally know it. Uh, so let's talk about Victory 17. This is in connection uh, with my upcoming Glory and Prayer Institute, October 20th through 22nd. I hope you've registered. Um, uh, you know, we have limited seating here at Harvest Church in Turlock, California. Uh, once the seats are sold, they're sold. So uh, make sure that you register now. I think we're like over 75% full and we're coming down to our last five weeks. So those tickets are get, just going to start rolling. Uh, we have an online option as well. And there's a whole team that uh, actually manages the online community so there's very interactive uh, there's ministry there's prophetic ministry as well as prophetic ministry uh, in person uh, lots of ministry that's all i have to say lots of ministry it's going to be amazing make sure that you register um, as soon as possible but anyway uh, let me first first give you some backstory uh, the backstory is uh, this number 17. I I have a history with it. I used to tell people I have a relationship with this number, you know, in jest. And it started with a prophet who uh, prophesied over my life in 2007. And he prophesied and said, uh, in 10 years, you're going to be a household name. Well, I can't say that I'm a household name, but I can say that a lot more people know me uh, you know, begin to know me between two, seven, 2007 and 2017 than ever knew me before. So we'll, we'll just say that there was definitely an emerging of, you know, who I was and, and people uh, finding out, you know, the ministry that God had on my life between those 10 years. So that I would say was for sure. But I had recognized that this number 17, I kept seeing it. Uh, you know, it's just kind of random. You just see it in different places. And because it has meaning to you, because I was waiting for 2017, because I knew that something was going to happen from the Lord in 2017 based on the words of that prophet. And, and you know, I even had like passcodes, you know, that were the number 17. I don't need more. But, but I used to have passcodes because that number was significant to me. Um, I, nobody ever told me this. I found out after the fact. Uh, I knew it meant uh, victory. I knew it meant uh, you know, uh, that there was a victory coming to my life. And, you know, I just knew that from the Holy Spirit. And I come to find out after the fact that that was, uh, that was, that was what that number was assigned to mean. Kind of like when we see the number um, uh, five, you know, we, we think of the grace of God. Uh, when we see the number one, we think of new beginnings, number two, second chances, you know, we just kind of have a, a little meaning code to some of these numbers. I would say most of them are picked up from the Bible. Some of it's kind of cultural, but but either way, for me, 17 was victory. I felt the Holy Spirit told me that, and then I found out that that was a very common designation for that number 17. Okay, so I had a history with it. I was familiar with it. Fine, you know, it was awesome. Okay, so leading forward, uh, I'm, I'm planning for this Glory and Prayer Institute, and the Holy Spirit puts it in my heart one one day and he says uh there's going to be a large donation given towards the institute so that you can you can drop the price of you know a block of tickets okay and i had it in my mind kind of how many tickets it was going to be and i had it in my mind uh how much i wanted the tickets to be but i didn't tell anybody i just kept it to myself kept it internal and then within two days somebody sends me a text and says um, the Lord has spoken to me to give a uh, to give a large donation to to the Glory and Prayer Institute so that you can drop a block of tickets, and you know they, they didn't you know know the pricing or anything, but I already knew in my mind how many tickets. I already knew in my mind how much I wanted the tickets to be, and it was a hundred tickets that I wanted to drop in in person tickets to seventeen dollars. Okay, so so I did that because this person gave i you know i didn't like pocket the money and put it somewhere else you know went straight towards that very thing and so we sh shouted you know everywhere hey we've got a block of tickets that we are dropping to 17 dollars uh because somebody gave a large donation and made it possible for us to do that 
And so um, th those tickets were sold in 24 hours, actually less than 24 hours. And it was just amazing. But then I started noticing this, uh, this other thing happening. Okay. I started noticing that people, um, uh, you know, in my mentorship group, I don't know what's happening outside the mentorship group because people haven't told me, but in my mentorship group, because we're all talking to each other, you know, the excellence in the supernatural on my mentorship, there's like 550 people in this mentorship. It's, it's very large. And it's, we've been a, we've been together for five or six years now, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful community. Um, and so uh, the thing is, I started noticing uh, people started giving this testimony, how the Lord uh, paid for their, uh, uh, inspired somebody to pay for their ticket to the Institute, um, uh, you know, or inspired somebody to pay for, uh, you know, VIP ticket for the Institute. And we, we don't have any more VIP tickets, but, but, you know, I started noticing that this thing started to happen. Okay. And then I started noticing this other testimony that not only were, were tickets being given, but they, they were, um, uh, they were also receiving travel expenses. They were receiving lodging expenses. Uh, people were, were saying that they were getting the ticket and the, the flight and the lodging expenses all in one, one shot. And I kept hearing this testimony happening in this, in, you know, in this vein, and like just the other day, there's three people in one day said, somebody bought my ticket, somebody bought my travel, somebody bought my lodging, I'm coming to the Institute, I'm coming in person, and all of that. Well, you know, the reason that's happening is because the Holy Spirit has been inspiring people to sow. I've been talking about sowing. Uh, it's really a sowing season right now. If you are, if you're a sower, you know, God gives seed to the sower, um, you know, uh, Second Corinthians chapter nine talks about that, and and seed in that context is about financial offering. And so he, he's, you know, been inspiring all these people. You know, I've just seen it in this one group. I don't know what's happening outside of the group because I ha people haven't told me. Um, but but in this group, at least, I've been hearing all these testimonies. Um, you know, so we know that people have been sowing. Uh, give and it'll be given to you. Uh, Luke six thirty eight. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together running over, it'll be put into your bosom with the same measure you use, we measure back to you. So some people have been giving, okay? Because uh, I know when people sow like this, because they know the scripture. Uh, Philippians 4.19, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Well, those people, they needed to go to this institute and the Lord supplied it, but somebody had to sow it. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 6, but this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. This is all these people who are sowing generously. I mean, that's generous, you know, to, to send somebody to an institute, uh, to, you know, to, to give a donation to the institute so so tickets can be be less expensive. Um, you say, well, why didn't you do that in the first place? Well, those of you who put on conference before, you know how expensive conferences are. They're just like this one expensive thing, okay? Um, you know, so so anyway, uh, we 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 charge for for the tickets for for that reason, and so so anyway, um, I, because I know something's on this, I know something's happening, and I know it's turning into some kind of word because I I just I know when I even went through England, I went through England. The timing was just like incredible. I don't take credit for any of it. Uh, I just happened to be there at the right time, you know, when they, they got uh, the uh, new prime minister, happened to be conservative, uh, replacing the other conservative one that had to resign for scandal. Um, but they got the new one that week. Uh, and then the, the drought, at least in the London area, it broke uh, while we were there and they've had a serious drought. And then, of course, sadly, uh, the queen died. And that is a, a complete shift over that nation. OK, so I believe that, you know, England needs to hear about Victory 17, uh, you know, that that in transition, uh, there is there's overcoming victory coming your way. And then um, and then we you know, I just took note of it and somebody posted it. And that's why I took note of it. Uh, they posted it in that group, that excellence group. We're all talking about stuff, uh, how uh, King Charles has, had extended, you know, the the morning time for uh, his mother. Uh, for, uh, to 17 days. I'm like, that number is all over the place, you know, and this is all happening as I'm over there and we're, we're getting all this, this news. Um, and so I just paid attention. I paid attention to these coincidences. I paid attention to these things that are happening on repeat, um, you know, and, and prophetic people, they take notice of these things. And so I know something happening 
with overcoming victory. That's what the number 17 means. There's all sorts of, you know, biblical uh, uh, things that point to why that means that means overcoming victory. Um, and, and so there's something on it. I know there's something on it for sowing for sure. So uh, God gives seed to the sower. So those of you who are sowers, uh, we're making available a very special channel of giving. If you want to give to some more Victory 17 tickets, we would like to make them available. Um, we have separated out that channel so we know exactly what it's for. And it goes straight to that. Uh, we're not doing anything behind the scenes with it. It just goes straight toward Victory 17 tickets. Um, I'm not getting into the travel side of it. I'm not getting into the lodging side of it. That's completely on people to do as individuals. Uh, but as far as the tickets are concerned, we can manage that really, really easily um, and very effectively. So we have a very special, there's a QR code you can use. Uh, there's a, a text channel that you can you can use. Uh, you can go uh, give online, uh, but, but it has a certain link. So you'll see that link uh, that goes straight to Victory 17 tickets. Uh, we want to make available some more Victory 17 tickets. And because I know something's happening with the sewing on this, I want to make sure that those of you who are sewers, you can sew. All right. So, um, uh, you know, so we're making that available. Um, what this is going to culminate to, I know when there's this much generosity over a conference. Okay. What happens when there's generosity? Um, uh, uh, that means there's an opening. Things begin to open. Why? Because there's open hearts and open hands. Uh, there's a ton of generosity over this conference. Um, I'm thinking about, uh, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I've seen financial miracles. I've seen tremendous miracles. I just know what his word says, uh, at least for the sowers, those who sow. Um, you know, and there are these times where there's a convergence and the Lord just just drops blessing, you know, over something just all over the place. And it's just ridiculous. So I know all these people are getting set up for some kind of blessing because I've never seen it like this. This has never happened in any institute that I have ever had where I've seen all these people um, getting blessed, especially when we're hearing the shouts of scarcity all the time. And that's the opposite is happening with this institute. Uh, we're not seeing scarcity. We're seeing sowing. And so I know that there's a blessing on this. Okay. Victory 17 blessing. I want you to know about it. I want to give you opportunity to sow into some uh, victory 17 tickets. We will make it available uh, as, as the, um, the funds are coming in um, and we will make it available for people as it happens. And so it's, it's just one channel there. Um, make sure you go through those links. Uh, otherwise we won't know. OK, um, so so make sure you do that. And then also um, I want to encourage those of you who are like you want to go, but you're like, man, you know, things are tight right now. I want you to believe there's something happening here. Um, uh, I've, the Lord's building faith. Uh, we need faith uh, for miracles and the glory and prayer and intercession. Um, but there's something about this. I, I want you to believe the Lord. Uh, believe. OK, believe um, maybe uh, uh, give an extra offering at your church or something. You know, so so a, a small seed, what you can, you know, somewhere. So at your church, perhaps, um, you know, and believe for the Lord to get you here, um, you know, and just pay attention as things begin to come in. Just plan on it and and the rest will come by the time you get here. OK, so I've been watching that miracle as well. So, OK, everybody, victory 17 blessing. Something's happening. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the Institute. God bless.